So what I've got here is the iOS app or the React Native app running on iOS as well as running on Android. And right now it's in the development mode for both. And just to confirm that, what I'm gonna do is open up my editor and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, access a global variable, which is underscore, underscore, dev, underscore, underscore. We'll convert that to a string and then we'll just go ahead and display this. So what we're gonna do throughout this lesson uh, is actually show you how to run an app in a simulator in production or release mode. And the reason we wanna do that is when setting up our release or production debugging tools to catch crashes, uh, to capture bugs, those kinds of things, we want, well, we need to, in order to enable them, run in production mode because we wouldn't want to be you know, filling up our logging or our crash reporting tool with development crashes that we're gonna inevitably run into dozens throughout the day. We wanna see what's actually happening in production so they only run in production mode. So we'll practice or show you how to actually run both iOS and Android in that production slash release mode so we can actually test them out as we're going. So we'll do iOS first and what we wanna do is open iOS slash debugging course.xcode project. Debugging course is gonna be whatever you named your project when you ran React Native init. And then once we're here, what we wanna do is actually go into edit scheme. And then once you've got run selected, go ahead and change your build configuration to release and then uncheck, uncheck this debug exit, <clears throat> excuse me, debug executable. We can then go ahead, run the application from Xcode. We'll go back to this. And then what we're really looking at to confirm is this where it says true right now, uh, which is signifying if we're in development or release mode, we want this to be uh, it. We want true to be false to show that we're not in dev mode anymore. And while we're waiting for this to build, something I wanna note uh, with Android, before you can run it in release mode, you'll actually need to go through and sign the application uh, to make sure that you can actually run in release, which means you need to create that key store file. Uh, that's all outlined in the actual React Native docs. And I'll have a link to how to do that if you haven't already done it. Quick, easy process for you to set up. Uh, but you need to make sure you do that before you can actually go ahead and build a release version of your app, even if it's just on the simulator. Okay, and with the build finished in Xcode, we can see now uh, on iOS, we've got false set here, um, which means we're not in development mode or in release mode, which is what we want. And what that's going to allow us to do is actually have those uh, production release crash reporting tools work. But something to note, and this is going to be the same for Android, is all of the development tools that you're used to working with in development aren't going to work here. So once you're done setting up these tools, once you actually want to go back to debugging everything, you'll want to make sure you switch back this build configuration to debug and then put debug executable back on. Otherwise, nothing's going to work the way you expect it to. Uh, Android's even easier. So typically you would run React Native run Android to run the application uh, to build the release version. All you would have to say is dash dash variant is equal to release. It'll go ahead, rebuild the application for you. And then if you run into an error like this, uh, what I found is basically if you got the debug version uh, installed, it's not going to install the release version. So what I have to do is actually go ahead and remove the debugging app or uninstall it. Try to get Android to work. So I'll uninstall the actual debugging course, uh, debugging app, then I can run this release or build it in release mode and it should install successfully. And you can see here, that's what we've got. We've got false, which means we're not in development mode and everything's working the same. We just don't have any of those development tools. And this will enable us to use those uh, crash reporting tools that we're gonna be setting up in the next lessons. So that's how you run the app uh, in release mode on the iOS and Android simulator.